Yo! It's your boy. Blue screen. Um, really excited about this one. <laughs> Big ass box from J List. Um, wasn't expecting this one for another week or so. Um, they've done that thing again where they send um, what they've got when the order was placed, even though I ordered a couple of extra things. And then now that I'm checking it online, it's saying that it's still processing, which means that they'll probably send me a smaller box with like all the other stuff. Or they'll give me a refund if they can't get it in a decent amount of time. But regardless, feels pretty, um, pretty hefty. Just for comparison to the size of my absolutely huge head. Um, yeah, so most of this is snacks again. So let's just uh, get into it and uh, show you what I got. <laughs> and the, the, just the official description on the box is souvenir, of course. There actually isn't anything lewd in this one, so sorry to disappoint you. Next one will be there, I think, maybe. A little Christmas present to myself. I'm so desperately lonely. So. Uh, same little pamphlet thing that they gave me last time. <clears throat> sticker might give that to someone because I've already got one now so uh, craft tortilla um, chips cheese dressing not bad not bad um, I'm guessing you can just have it with a Caesar I don't know I might try some of these while the video is going but I just want to kind of show you what I got to start off um, Green, green snacks. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I should. Um, I, I wish that they had the receipt because the receipt had everything in English, and that's kind of half the reason why I got what I got because I had an eye general idea of what I was getting. But because I don't have it in front of me, I'm kind of just going, uh, "What's that?" Um, I mean, half of the things that I got. I only wanted to get purely because of the the visual appeal. I just think, you know, the snacks just in general look cooler. Um, they look like they might be really, either really, really sweet or really, really savory. I don't know. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot about those. Okay, I'll do one now and I'll show you the other one later. So this is, um, they say it's a Kit Kat, but it's, uh, yeah, the elegant taste of sake wrapped in the gentle sweetness of white chocolate. So, I think it's, I think it's flavoured, sake flavoured Kit Kat, or it's not a Kit Kat flavoured sake. Anyway, I'm gonna open it up and just double check. I'm assuming it couldn't be sake because you'd have to have some sort of proof of age. The box is fucking dope as though. Okay, yeah, so they're Kit Kats. A um, little bit of a shame, I was kind of hoping it would have like a really nice looking bottle and have like a chocolate flavoured sake, but in any case, I'm looking forward to trying those out. Um, yeah, box is like super ripper. Nestle sucks though, so I'm probably not going to get fully involved in the whole Kit Kat thing. Um, if you don't know why, just see what they do with trying to claim water as like something that they should be able to have a ride over. Um, okay, so these are like some pepper, pepper snacks, pepper and pe or peanut sort of flavoured snacks, I guess. Not bad, not bad. Um, I'm assuming these are like prawn flavoured snacks. But once again, you know, just the, just the colour and the design, just the aesthetic of it is just so cool. I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff. I've always loved cool looking snacks going down to Chinatown when you're young and looking at all the stuff. You have no idea what it is. 
but you want it anyway. Uh, Jaga, Jagabay. I think it might be a potato stick. It's a potato flavored. I don't know. I'm just gonna try one. Oh, they're like, uh, look at that. They're like fries. Like straight up. They're like legit fries, but they're not. I think when you buy McDonald's fries, and they're. They're good, but as soon as they go cold. It's done. You can't reheat them because there's virtually no moisture left in them anyway. They're just dry and they kind of taste like dehydrated fries. So they're going to stay crunchy, but they got that real saturated potato, like oily potato flavor. I'm amazed, like how they look. It's just like dry fries, like non 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 hot fries. So yeah, they're pretty good. I think that was like a buck. Um, yeah, okay, so I got some squid, got some dried squid. Um, I bought some dried squid up the street, um, and I absolutely inhaled it, so I'm kind of glad that I got some more waiting for me. I forgot that I got this. I don't know what the flavor is, um, but I think it's some kind of herb. I don't know what that is there. Maybe that's just the mouth, but it looks like something like a vegetable or a root. So there's that. Got some more of these because um, had the the last pack that I got. Me and my mom just basically ate it all, and um, we just sat there and ate them because it's yeah, it's dried chili. And they've hollowed it out, and then they've sort of repurposed it with um, I guess like chili dust, but also um, uh, sesame seeds. So it, it does look like that, but it's also got peanuts that come with it so overall you get this really spicy nutty kind of got a bit of like a paprika thing to it anyway these are these are definitely going to be like the favorite of the bunch i can already tell you <coughs> so i got these um i got one for me one for my mum. Basically, um, some uh, chopsticks. I'm a little tired today. I'm also getting over a really bad chest infection, so excuse me if I seem a little out of it. But um, these, I've been using chopsticks for a long time now, but I feel like the ones that we've got just. Uh, I don't like the, I mean they're fine, but I, I would prefer a pair that um, have the, the lovely sort of, if you can see that, the little sort of ridged sort of edges there just to make grabbing stuff a little bit easier. And these are wooden as well, and they got this really nice sort of finish to them. And they come with, um, they come with a case as well, so if you're on the go and uh, looking to chopstick your way through the culinary delights of your neighborhood, then um, you'd want to do it with a, with a like a little, it's like a little lunchbox, a pencil holder. So that's really cool. You don't have to do those disposable ones anymore. You can pull it out and people will be like, oh, he's got a lot of time on his hands. <laughs> and yeah, so I got another one. I've got one for me and one for my mom. So that's cool. Kind of getting slowly to the bottom of the box now. Um, <coughs> I don't know what these are, but it's got a dragon on the front, so... Can you go wrong? Um, and they're supposed to... They're supposed to look like dragons, like these little spiral things you put on your fingers. It's supposed to look like a dragon. I don't know. I guess we'll see how they, how they go. Uh, small Kit Kat this time. We got uh, chestnuts. 
Yeah. So they should be chestnutty. Yeah, so I forgot about this as well. So this, this, I'm actually really excited about this. This is a, um, a microwave container, but it's made specifically for making ramen. So if you can't be bothered doing the whole thing on the stove and whatever, I guess I'm assuming you could just put everything uh, in the container, microwave it, and everything will, will, will cook in the microwave instead. Um, I'll have to... I mean, you know, obviously the instructions are in Japanese, but I think I can, I think I can pick it up. So we will, we will see how that goes. But I mean, it seems pretty, pretty standard. You know, put the water in there, put the noodles in, put whatever and whatever. But yeah, that's cool. That was pretty cheap as well. All of this stuff was cheap. It's just the postage that cost the most. Uh, another Kit Kat. This one's the um, peach, I guess. The red one was uh, sake flavored, and this is oh no, sorry, this is sake as well, but it's uh, hmm, I guess it's peach. I guess we'll find out regardless, but you know, yeah, just visually it looks damn cool. And that's it, except for this one last little thing that I got for myself. Which is a, uh, I think it's called the Snipers Encyclopedia, or something along those lines. Um, but yeah, basically it's like, sort of military based waifu stuff, so. That kind of, those kind of illustrations, so it's pretty. And then talking about different kinds of snipers and uh, tactics and it obviously presents it in cute sort of moe waifu style. Um, yeah, so, because I'm kind of all about waifus at the moment. So yeah, that's, uh, oh, that's my unboxing. Um, I wish I could share it with all of you, because um, eating all these snacks on my own by myself um, seems a little lonely. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed that. I will do another one maybe next month, but it's coming close to um, Xmas, so maybe not. We will see. Um, obviously they are still handling half, not half, but like a fraction of the order with the stuff that wasn't available when I placed it. So I may get a smaller box like I did last time uh, with just like, you know, two or three things, in which case I'll do another one. Um, uh, and I'm just going to take this opportunity real quick to thank um, everyone that's been following what I've been doing. I haven't been in a great mind frame uh, recently. I was on some good meds, but they were giving me crazy munchies. Not like this stuff is going to help. <laughs> um, I got off that so I could control my hunger but it, mentally it wasn't making me feel as happy. So I've just started taking the old stuff again and I'm just gonna have to deal with the, the munchies and just be a bit more proactive with what I eat um, when I do get that sort of hunger attack. Um, but also with the compilations that I've been doing and everyone's been really enthusiastic about those and that kind of motivates me to keep doing more. I've got uh, one more for December and then I'm going to decide if I keep doing them next year. Everyone wants me to, but I might want to, I don't know, I, I kind of want to work on some material and keep doing the live shows and all that kind of stuff. So I don't know. I, I'm sure I'll end up just doing all of it because I'd rather be really busy with creative endeavors than, than not. Um, but also, yeah, just thanking people for, you know, enjoying the material that I make and you know, appreciating it and sharing it and liking it and yeah, it uh, means a lot to me um, and sort of, yeah, reminds me that what I'm doing is, you know, is uh, people enjoy it and that, that yeah, that's, that's really cool. So, yeah, uh, love you guys and um, I'll see you next time.